Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video, we will be learning about the top 5 skills you need to learn in order to become a good automation engineer. So let's begin. Automation testing is in trend right now and most of the QAs want to learn the automation tools. However, most of the QAs are unable or they are struggling with the automation testing itself. So there are multiple reasons for it. But let me tell you in this video the top 5 skills you need to learn in order to become an automation engineer. So the first skill is basically a manual testing itself. So you need to be very good at manual testing because tomorrow you need to convert that effort from yourself to a script, right? So your script will be testing on your behalf and this can be done using the different tools available in the market like Selenium and Cypress. So first thing, obviously a manual testing so you need to be good at manual testing for sure and once you're good at manual testing then the second skill is basically regarding to the programming itself if you know the programming then definitely you would be able to write the scripts and here uh, the question arises that how much programming i need to learn and which languages i need to learn in order to become an automation engineer so just like our programmers, we need to write a code. But the difference between a dev engineer and automation engineer is that we are not the persons who would be developing the applications. We will be the person who will be writing scripts which will test the applications. And for writing the scripts, we should have a, at least a foundation level of programming. We should be able to implement the page object models. We should be able to implement the object oriented programming, right? So we should be aware of how loops works, how we can implement the different classes, objects, methods, and these things. So you should be aware of these things. And in terms of uh, programming languages, which we need to learn. So I would recommend three of the languages at this moment. The first one is Java. Second is JavaScript. Third is Python. So these three languages are very much common in terms of automation uh, testing. So if you talk about Selenium, Selenium is mostly used with uh, Java and Python. And if we talk about Cypress, so Cypress is being uh, is utilizing the JavaScript, right? Playwright is also with the JavaScript and Python as well. So, so Python, JavaScript and Java are really, really common. So you can start working on these languages. So once you have a good manual testing skills, then you have to develop a sufficient programming skills. And after that, you need to jump into the automation itself. Now, when I talk about automation here, what I mean is that you should be aware of how automation code needs to be written. What are the automation frameworks? Then what are the design patterns? When we talk about the design pattern, which means that I'm talking about, uh, for example, page object model. Page object model is a design pattern. Then we need to have a framework. Then we need to know the strategy to write a code, how to structure our code in our, uh, you know, in, in our project. So these are basically come around. So you should be aware of how automation works, right? So these are not specific to any tool. These are general automation concepts, right? Page object model is a design pattern. You can implement this one on Cypress, Playwright, Selenium, whatever tool you are using, right? Similarly, Cucumber, Beardy is very much common. You can use that in any of your frameworks. So you should be aware of the different things happening around the automation strategies, design patterns, frameworks. This is the third thing. The fourth thing uh, you need to know about the repositories like Git and GitHub. Very common, there are so many others available, but Git and GitHub are, you know, very much common. So GitHub is a basically a cloud base which provides your repositories and Git is basically uh, used to push a command or your code to the repositories, remote repositories. So why we need to learn? Um, because uh, as automation engineer, you will be working as a team member, right? So you would be assigned to one automation task you need to write or automate that feature or automate that test cases. And after that, what you need to do is that you need to push your code to the main repository so that as a team, all team members should have the latest code, right? 
so as automation engineer so you would be working just like a developer you would be committing the code you would be taking the pull clones and uh, working with the different repos on the daily basis so you need to learn about how git flow works how what are the repositories how repositories work how you need to commit a code how you can take a push how can you take a pull how you take a clone right so the, 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 these are different uh, things you should be learning uh, as your journey from manual to automation right so the first step obviously manual testing you should be very good at manual testing you should be knowing that how to write a very good test cases how to write uh, you know a different negative scenarios how to figure out the edge cases so then obviously foundation level programming then the generic automation things automation frameworks page audit models design patterns you know bd cucumber things which are implement on any of the tools you are working right then uh, git and github similar basically this means that we are talking about the repositories itself and the final thing is that when you know how to write a script right you know about the frameworks you know about the design patterns now you are working on the daily basis and you're committing your code on the repos so finally you should be know about the CI/CD pipelines and that is because we are working in an era right now where we are working with the devops things so devops CI/CD is basically continuous integration and continuous development where you need to integrate your repository with any of the devops tools for example jenkins is very much common azure devops is very much common right so there are so many tools available which provide the ci cd pipelines continuous integrate continuous development right and these pipelines have a very generic structure right so it takes your repo and it automatically triggers your automation code when and where it is needed to get executed so these five skills are really important and so most of the people are asking me that should we we, we are good at programming should we start uh, automating the application directly i said yes you can but at the same time you should start learning about the manual testing you sh you cannot skip this part manual testing is really really important because if you know how to test the application then that particular cases will be converted into a script which will test the application on your behalf so that's why manual testing foundation level of programming generic knowledge of automation testing in terms of frameworks design patterns bd and how to structure your code then you should be aware of repositories how to work with the repos how to commit the code how to take a pull push and all these things how to merge your code then the final thing you should be knowing how your automation repos will work with the pipelines how ci cd works how devops works so you should be aware of these things once you have all these skills you will definitely be a good automation engineer because these skills are required on the daily basis because you need to write a code you need a test cases you should know about the frameworks because it will optimize your code it will make your code efficient reusable then if you talk about bd it will help your management to understand the code and then there should be a central repository for your code and then uh, and obviously uh, it should be working on the devops and ci cd pipelines so you should be aware of it and once you have all these common things so you can pick one thing from here in terms of programming so for example let me um, uh, give you uh, one example here so if i talk about selenium itself so for selenium learn java fundamentals java foundations then try to implement selenium frameworks page object models bd on selenium then try to uh, commit your code on git github or different repositories and finally try to integrate your code with any ci cd tool just like a jenkins right first manual testing then programming automation git repository and finally the devops things
Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you like our content, then do like, comment, share, and subscribe our channel. Once again, thank you so much, and see you in the next tutorial.